everybody, this is D Hunter, bringing another action figure collection video. This is going to be episode 29 of D Hunter's complete unopened Batman related action figure collection. This is going to be part 7 of my DC Direct and DC Collectibles unopened collection. This episode is going to contain my DC Collectibles, DC Essentials figures, and my Doomsday Clock figures. I consider Doomsday Clock to be an offshoot of the DC Essentials line. These are the same body type and articulation style. Now the biggest complaint I heard about DC Essentials is that almost all the male figures shared the same body. I can definitely see why that would get some complaints. But I'll tell you, these figures are beautiful. They're fantastic, well articulated. Definitely a step in the right direction for DC collectibles. Unfortunately, they died as this line was progressing. In this video, we're going to take a look at each of the figures, wave by wave. We'll check out what I have unopened, and what I have opened from this line. If you want to see how extensive my unopened Batman action figure collection is, check out episode 1, the overview. There will be a link in the description below. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and let's see how we got to this point. Before we dig into this video, let's take a quick look at my overall action figure collection. Here's when I had everything laid out in the house. So I think I've finally done it. I've unpacked all of the figures. As you can see here, we have the Diamond Select Toys Gotham Collection. Here's a bunch of my Mezco unopened figures. Some more Mattel stuff. Here's the Legends of the Dark Knight line. This is the Batman Power Attack line. It's where Batman Unlimited. All my Justice League, Justice League Unlimited stuff. This is the entire DC Direct and DC Collectibles Arkham Collection. Mattel's 1966 line. DC Superhero Girls. All the different NECA Batman figures. Some Target exclusive line. All the amazing Yamaguchi figures back there. Some Spin Master stuff. The Mattel Batman Missions line. Of course, in the very back, it's my entire comic collection with all the recent McFarlane releases in front. And above that, got a bunch of DC Direct and Mattel figures in the last several years. Moving on, pretty much the entire Mattel's The Batman line. Back here in the back, got my SH Figure Arts Batman figures. This side, we've got all the different Mattel, Dark Knight, Dark Knight Rises, Batman Begins figures, massive amount of piles. Back here, we've got the DC Collectibles, Batman the Animated Series figures, and a lot of them are on top as well. Can't wait to get to that video. That one and the Arkham Collection and DC Universe Classics, some videos I'm really excited to do. Here are the Mattel figures. I can see the Batman Legacy, Batman Unlimited. It goes all the way from the original Batman line. Here's the Batmobile. And it's going to go all the way to DC Super Heroes, DC Universe Classics, and Multiverse. A ton of figures. Great era with Mattel. Fun stuff. But I do like what McFarlane's doing. But I do miss these days, that's for sure. Going back to Kenner and Hasbro, a ton of Batman Beyond, Batman the Animated Series stuff. I mean, that just seemed endless to go through, my word. Look at these piles of unopened figures. Batman the Animated Series continues all the way back here. Absolute ton of stuff just stacked up. On top of this table here, got all the Mafex figures and a bunch of one-offs. Some Hasbro. Some McFarlane, or Mattel rather, anniversary figures. Amazing Amaguchi, Kia Asima, all kind of different import type stuff. Then we've got JLA and Total Justice figures. And then on to all the rest of the DC Direct stuff. Bunch of DC Direct Batman related figures. Some more chill in the back here. And I filled up all these shelves temporarily, just storing all these DC Direct. DC Collectibles figures. And it's almost done. 
Here's the Mattel Batman Brave and the Bold line. I did not realize how extensive that got. And a ton more Brave and the Bold down here. Moving on again. Some old Toy Biz, Super Friends, and DC Superhero figures leading into the Dark Knight collection. Then we'll go to the Batman Returns figures. And then, of course, Batman Forever, Batman and Robin. It's a bunch of different Bat Caves and some more animated stuff in the back there. Let's start off by checking out the first assortment. I only got the Batman related characters to keep unopened. We have Batman and Deathstroke. Wave 1 also had the Flash and Reverse Flash. And yes, all four of these figures shared the exact same base body. So let's check out the packaging. As you can see, DC Essentials, 20 years of DC Direct. DC Collectibles, direct from the source. This is the first figure in the line. Batman, he's in his Rebirth outfit. Not quite painted accurately. He comes with one Batarang. Bat symbol at the top. Batman, here's the rest of Wave 1. We have Batman, Deathstroke, Flash, and Reverse Flash. Really wish I'd got these two figures at this point. Then we have Deathstroke. DC Essentials, the second figure in the line, Deathstroke's logo, Deathstroke here, the rest of the wave. Here's this Batman out of the box. I think the sculpt is fantastic. Short-eared cowl, rebirth suit. He's done in the blue and gray style. They did make another version in the black and gray style. He's got purple on the inside of the cape. Now some of the complaints I heard, the majority of the male figures use the same body, and I totally understand that complaint. I've also read people complaining their arms are too long. I don't really think that's accurate. My arms hang down to a pretty similar level as his. If they're too long, it's like just a millimeter or two. Also the lack of accessories. Now their hands easily popped out, their heads easily popped off. Sure, making you feel like they intended them to come with some alternate hands, and possibly alternate heads. I don't know what was going on behind the scenes with DC Collectibles at the time. It seemed like they were really, really struggling, canceling a lot of figures, cutting back on accessories, raising the price. It led to their ultimate demise a couple years later. Pretty nice Batman figure, though. And here's Deathstroke out of the box. I really wish he had come with an unmasked Slade Wilson head. It's something almost every Deathstroke should come with. He has a removal pistol and sword. Good figure. Now, I was only picking up the Batman related characters. I got absolutely nothing from Series 2. Series 2 included Superman, Aquaman, Black Manta, and Brainiac. At this point, I do wish I got those figures open. But I didn't, so no going back now. Here is Series 3. It was a Batman themed wave. This contained Batgirl, the Joker, Nightwing, and Harley Quinn. So let's check out the packaging. DC Essentials Batgirl. DC Collectibles, straight from the source. The 10th figure in the line. She has the same Batarang Batman came with. She actually does come with two alternate hands. Bat symbol at the top. Batgirl. The rest of this assortment. Batgirl, Joker, Nightwing, and Harley Quinn. They're all in their more or less iconic looks. Here's Joker. Traditional Joker. Purple suit. Green shirt. Orange vest. He's got his flower. He has a nice Joker cane there. The 11th figure in the line. J at the top. Joker. Rest of the wave. Here's Nightwing. He's got two batons in his regular blue and black outfit. The 12th figure in the line. Nightwing logo at the top. Nightwing, rest of the wave. And here is Harley Quinn. DC Essentials Harley Quinn. The 13th figure in the line. She has a cap gun, her mallet, 
Harley Quinn diamonds at the top. Harley Quinn, rest of the wave. Here's this Batgirl out of the box. It's a pretty nice Batgirl figure, her modern look, Barbara Gordon. And I definitely prefer the scale of this figure to the DC Icons Batgirl. Although they're in the exact same costume. Here's Joker out of the box. This is a new sculpt for the body, and that was kind of surprising for this line. Joker looks more or less in his regular attire. I don't know, just something about the head I didn't like. I think it was mostly the hair. Not a bad figure, though. And then Nightwing out of the box. Good figure. Exact same body as Batman. And maybe decoration should be a little bit smaller than Batman. Although this is a fully grown adult Nightwing. Good figure, but never became my default Nightwing. And then, here's Harley Quinn out of the box. Nice, iconic classic looking Harley Quinn or Chester outfit. They don't make too many of those figures nowadays, as Harley doesn't really sport that suit anymore. Very similar to the DC Icons figure, but I much prefer this scale. And although I don't have any of the figures from Series 4 unopened, that series contained Supergirl, Wonder Woman, Cheetah, and Cyborg Superman. I did get Cheetah open. It's a gorgeous figure. The scope's fantastic. Paint job's excellent, articulation's good, and I thought she would be nice interacting with Catwoman from time to time. Now we have Red Hood. He was released individually, not in a wave of four figures. It was the first time they did this in DC Essentials, and I found that very interesting. This is by far the best DC Direct and DC Collectibles Red Hood figure out there. And one could argue it's the best Red Hood. I think I prefer McFarlane's Red Hood just a little bit. But this is a very nice Red Hood figure. DC Essentials Red Hood. DC Collectible, straight from the source. The 18th figure in the line. Red Batman logo at the top. Red Hood. Some other upcoming figures. Here's Red Hood out of the box. He's in his biker outfit. But he's his Batman ally. We've got the bat symbol on the chest. Two removal pistols. The head or helmet's done in a metallic color. Very nice figure. Out of this next assortment, I have both Nightfall Batman and Nightfall Cowan unopened. There was also a Hal Jordan Green Lantern and Yellow Lantern Sinestro that I didn't bother getting. This is one of my favorite Batman figures out there. He's definitely my top five. And I really like this Catwoman. I was very into Nightfall. The 90s was my era of comics. I was really hoping DC Collectibles would continue to make more Nightfall figures, but they didn't. Let's check out the package. DC Essentials Nightfall Batman, DC Collectibles 21st figure in the line. At the top, we've got the Azrael Bat symbol. Not really appropriate for Batman, but it's all good. Batman on the side, typical blue and gray Batman with a yellow oval. The back. Batman, Sinestro, Hal Jordan, and Catwoman. Then we have Nightfall Catwoman. Catwoman logo at the top. 22nd figure in line. Absolute zero accessories. She should have come with a whip as well as a gripping hand. Catwoman. Rest of the wave. Here's this Batman out of the box. Like I said, this is one of my favorite Batman figures out there. Traditional blue and gray Batman with a yellow oval. Yellow capsule utility belt. This could be Batman from the 70s, 80s, or 90s. One of my favorite iconic looks for Batman. Here's this Catwoman out of the box. Sharing the same body from Cheetah. But it just works so well. The purple outfit. Your typical 90s Catwoman. She's got those thigh-high boots. Kind of sexy. And then she has claws on her hands. She just really needed an accessory or two. Now the next assortment of DC Essentials figures. I have the Rebirth Batman version 2. The New 52 Nightwing in his red suit. There was also a black suit to Superman for the return of Superman. As well as a Speed Force version of the Flash. Of course, I only got these two in my own open collection, as I'm only collecting the Batman stuff unopened. 
I do wish I'd got that black suit man of steel Superman at this point. But what's done is done. Not necessary. At this point, DC Collectibles had rebranded and went back to DC Direct. But this is right in their final days. I remember these figures were pretty hard to find. A lot of retailers got shorted. The place I normally order them from, DCBService.com, where I'd get them for 19 bucks each, never got theirs. I had to pay quite a bit extra at Big Bad Toy Store. DC Essentials Rebirth Batman Version 2. DC Direct, not DC Collectibles anymore. 23rd figure in line. He has that same Batarang. Batman symbol at the top. Rebirth Batman. The rest of the assortment. You can see the Speed Force Flash. The Black Suit Superman. Then we have the DC Essentials New 52 Nightwing. Nightwing in his red and black suit. I much prefer the blue suit to Nightwing. DC Direct, 25th figure in line. Nightwing, the rest of the wave. Here's this Batman out of the package. Traditional rebirth colors. Purple on the inside of the cape. Black and gray outfit. That signature rebelt bat symbol and utility belt. This is my favorite DC Essentials Batman, and he's definitely in my top five Batman figures. Then we have this Nightwing. Exact same body and sculpt as the original blue and black Nightwing. Only done in the New 52 colors. Really seemed kind of odd to go back to the New 52 during the Rebirth era. Happy to have this figure, but I much prefer the first Nightwing DC Essentials release. And this was the final assortment of DC Essentials figures. It wasn't supposed to be, but DC Direct ended up going under. Rest in peace, DC Direct. I do truly miss you guys. I've got both the deceased Batman and deceased the Joker unopened. These are essentially zombified versions of Batman and Joker. Very cool, yet gimmicky figures. They also made a deceased Aquaman and deceased Green Lantern. I don't have them unopened, as I only get the Batman stuff unopened. I did get those guys loose, though. DC Essentials, deceased Batman. Once again, it's DC Direct, not DC Collectibles. 27th figure in the line. Deceased. Here's that zombie Batman. The rest of the assortment. Batman, as well as Joker, Aquaman, and Green Lantern. Then we've got Joker. He's going to be the exact same sculpt as the original Joker, but his head is different. Just blood all over his mouth. Suit is dark and dirty. DC Direct. 28th figure in line. The rest of the wave. Joker on the side. Now this wasn't supposed to be the end of the line. There was supposed to be another assortment of deceased figures. That was going to include a deceased Superman, Flash, Supergirl, and Harley Quinn. I really like these deceased figures. They're pretty cool and unique. Surprised McFarland is not making deceased figures. Seems like some right up their alley. I also saw at Comic Con or Toy Fair there was going to be a deceased. Deathstroke, DC's Nightwing, and DC's Red Hood. They all looked really nice, and I wish they had come out. Here's the DC's Zombie Batman out of the package. 100% the same body, some different hands, and a different head. He's got some blood and damage on his body, but it's simply painted, not sculpted. And his head is fantastic. I mean, just look at that head sculpt. Zombie Batman. How can you go wrong? Here's Joker out of the box. It's the same figure from the first Joker, but he's painted differently and has a different head. He's got blood on his body. His suit is overall dirtier and darker. His head is fantastic. Blood all over it. It can double up for a zombie Joker or a Joker who's just been torturing somebody that's covered with their blood. I mean, just look at that. What is not to love about a bloody smiling Joker? And although I don't have them unopened, I did get the DC's Green Lantern and Aquaman figures loose. Some really nice figures, really cool, bloody, grotesque. These guys can double up as zombies 
are also really beat up, dying members of the Justice League. I don't have the regular Green Lantern or Aquaman or Superman or the Flash or Wonder Woman, and I wish I did. They're very nice 7-inch scale Rebirth figures. There was supposed to be an upcoming Rebirth 7-pack with a lot of re-releases, painted slightly different. I had that on order. Of course, it never came out. That would have been a really nice way to get the Flash, Wonder Woman, and Superman. DC Collectibles made these Doomsday Clock 2-packs. This isn't officially part of the DC Essentials line, but some of these figures use the same body. They all have the same articulation style, so I personally consider it an offshoot of the DC Essentials line. Doomsday Clock was sort of incorporating the Watchmen into the DC Universe. Watchmen was under Vertigo Comics. That was a more adult version of DC Comics. They weren't in the main DC canon, but they are now. We have Dr. Ron Hen and Ozymandias, Rorschach and Mime, and then the Comedian and Marionette. I was really excited to get Mime and Marionette. They'll make some great, unique Joker thugs. And I also thought it was cool. Rorschach was a completely different character. So first of all, we've got the Dr. Manhattan at Ozium and Dice 2-pack. These are two specific Watchmen characters. Nothing really Batman-related. Batman was heavily featured in the Doomsday Clock comic, though. Dr. Manhattan and Ozium and Dice. Doomsday Clock. DC Collectibles, direct from the source. Dr. Manhattan, no accessories. At least he's got some shorts on. And then Ozzy Mandias, also no accessories. We've got the clock here, Superman logo at the top. In the back, you can see all three of the different two packs. Here's Dr. Manhattan and Ozzy Mandias out of the box. Now these are probably the best figures of these two characters. Wasn't really feeling Ozzy Mandias' head sculpt. And then Dr. Manhattan has this pointing finger. And Osmond dies has two fists. They definitely need some alternate hands. And they have the Rorschach and Mime two pack. I was really excited for this pack. Rorschach was definitely my favorite of the Watchmen. Very sort of Batman esque type hero. No powers. Very gritty and dark. And then Mime. It's going to be a great, unique Joker thug. I was really excited to get Mime and Marionette. Of course, DC Collectibles did not make it easy. They didn't give Mime and Marionette their own two pack. That would have made far too much sense. Both Batman collectors and Watchmen fans could have got that. Either way, I was pretty pleased to get Rorschach. I could have passed on the first two-pack with Dr. Manhattan and Ozzy Mandias, but these other two-packs are a must. Mime and Marionette, some Joker thugs, fantastic. It's a little more complicated than that in the comics, but that's how it is in my action figure world. Rorschach and Mime. DC Collectibles. Doomsday Clock. He got Rorschach in the pack. He has his hat, grapnel gun, and the two alternate hands. I was confused because these hands have black gloves and these have, have brown gloves. I ended up reading the book after I got these figures. And Rorschach is a completely different character. He died in the Watchmen comic. This is a black man as Rorschach. That's why he has the brown hands. They aren't actually gloves. Then we have Mime. No accessories. He does have sort of these trigger finger type hands. And if you've read the comic... He can shoot invisible pistols because he's a mime. It's weird, but he's not from the regular DC universe. He's from the Watchmen version and merged into DC's main Earth. Doomsday Clock. The clock here. The back. The entire line. And here are these two figures. Definitely the best Rorschach figure they've given us. And I love the fact that it's a different Rorschach. So you could potentially have him interacting with the original Rorschach. Then you got Mime here. So happy to have another Joker thug. And finally, we have the comedian and the marionette. Was very excited for marionette. Mime and marionette were partners in this comic. And then the comedian. This should be better than the movie version they made a long time ago. So let's go ahead and check it out. The comedian, marionette, doomsday clock, DC collectibles third two-pack comedian two pistols they go to his holsters marionette absolutely no accessories in the comic she used a lot of wire to strangle people i was able to sort of wrap some around her hands and try that out back 
got the rest of the line. And here's the comedian and marionette. Fantastic figures. Probably the best comedian we've gotten. And marionette. I was just so excited to have my marionette together, and they did not disappoint. Marionette has these odd sort of cloth leggings over her body. Kind of unique way to do that. And although I'm pretty sure every single one of these figures in front of you uses the same base body, definitely the same torso, I still really like the line. In addition to all of these figures, Superman, Flash, Reverse Flash, Green Lantern, and Sinestro all use the same body as well. Now, it seems very cheap, but honestly, I like the end result. It's a very coherent line. They all scale up pretty nice together. Although they shouldn't exactly be all the same height, but I think it works out really well. You don't really realize that when looking at these figures. Now, could be better. Hell yeah, it could be. But this is a huge improvement with DC collectibles. Coming from the poor articulation they used to have and the brittle figures, they've come a long way. But it was a little too late. Their fate had already been sealed. They were already dying. They are now gone. I do miss you, DC collectibles. This was the very, very end of what they were producing. So that was my collection of DC collectibles, DC Essentials figures, mostly focused on the Batman side of things. A very nice line. I really do miss it. Fits in pretty good with the McFarlane figures. Stay tuned for the next episode of my own Batman collection. That's what I've been waiting for for a long time. Finally arrived at the DC Direct and DC Collectibles Arkham figures. They made an absolutely fantastic line. Probably my favorite line from DC Direct, hands down. Great figures from Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, Arkham Origins, and Arkham Knight. I hope McFarlane continues to pump out some Arkham figures, but that's a conversation for another day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked the video, press like below. If you have anything you want to say about the video, add it to the comment section. If you want to see additional action figure collection and action figure reviews from me, press subscribe. I do appreciate it when you do that. Once again, this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I will talk to you guys real soon.